Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Holy cow, man, it's been um, it's been a minute. It's been a hot minute uh, since we've been back on the 84 Chevy. Um, I posted a video a couple of weeks ago um, kind of explaining what happened. We didn't go anywhere, it didn't stop the project. Um, still got all the other projects you know, lined up because really what this is about is trying to encourage just one person to get out and uh, go work on your project and don't give up on it. And um, you know, when we, we had to step away because life happens at times, um, you got to come back to it and just, you know, put the projects aside, you know, come back into, you know, what, what makes life go for you. And, and, you know, we, uh, we had a tenant in one of our properties that, um, did a number on it. So we had to take the time and either put it on the 84 and let the house sit or, you know, come back and let the truck sit and, um, put the energy into the house, which is what I decided to do. And I actually never even ever remodeled a, a complete house like that, so it was quite the learning experience. So instead of wrenching it, you know, we were doing some carpenter uh, work and some tile work and you know some plumbing work and all that good shit. Um, so it's quite the experience there. But hey, we're back on the 84, and I've said it when we were wrapping up um, about two months ago. Really, the only thing left, and I'm all, I'm on the way to the shop now. I'm going to meet John over there. And uh, we'll do a quick recap video once we get there to show you where we're at. We're going to lift the bed back off. It's just sitting on the truck. Um, we want to take the roll pan off. We need to cut that out. Uh, make sure I have the grinders with me. We need to cut that out and um, a re, a, a re weld that back in because when you put the tailgate on, it sits a little wonky and um, you can see it. And I don't want to sell the truck where it's off maybe a 16th or something like that. Uh, so we want to make that sure that it's perfectly aligned before we before we um, final um, primer on this thing. But it's really just that. It's putting the bed back on, bolting it down, um, blocking everything, putting the fenders, hood, doors on, getting all that aligned, blocking all of that, and then figuring out what I want to do with the front roll pen. I think I have a pretty good idea. Uh, but we're on the way to the shop now, so let's get over here. I'll recap a quick video on the truck and where we are. And like I said, by Labor Day weekend, I like what to have the truck painted. So that's about two weeks away. And then from there, the fun really starts where we can just, um, you know, we can really start putting it back together. It's maybe about a week and a half of, you know, putting everything back in and uh, getting it ready to go. Still got to pick out the wheels, so we'll figure that out. Hey, so let's get over here, get everything uh, unpacked and get the truck uh, uncovered and uh, tell you where we're at. But I appreciate you guys coming back, and I appreciate um, the, the subscribers that stayed with us. We lost maybe one or two. I can understand why we wasn't posting anything. But we are back on it, and I uh, hope to bring you a finished truck here in the next few weeks. And then uh, on to that 78 F-150, uh, which is what I really, I'm really, i really looking forward to. And, and uh, we'll talk about that in the next next couple of weeks, you know, in terms of what we're going to do. Nothing like what we did on the 84, but I think you guys, uh, it would be a pretty cool deal what we do to it. So let's go uh, check out this 84. All right, here she sits in all of her glory. We haven't had this tarp off in quite a few months. Um, you see the weather out here in Tucson took its damage and toll on it over the summer. Um, probably not a bad idea. We didn't work on it. Um, it was freaking hot. It was hot inside the house um, as we were remodeling. You know, so maybe maybe not a bad thing that uh, we uh, didn't get to work on it in the heat. Because remember, we're doing all this outside. So, you know, not everybody has a high-speed, low-drag shop that they can just go out there and work on it on. So some of you are working on your projects in the elements like we are. And so we wanted to do that. And so... We're doing it just like as if maybe you would have to do it. And I go from there. Here's the 78. And I'll talk about that later on. So let's get it uncovered. And then um, probably trash this today. All of our trash in the back. Awesome, there she is, fantastic. Looking good. 
inside. It's been a minute. Tent pit is just maybe leave it primered. Who the hell knows? But yeah, so excited today. Hopefully the weather holds off. A lot of dust on her. We picked up a few more trucks along the way. It's another Chevy. For this one here, we're gonna pretty special build if I don't sell it. This one we're gonna sell. That one has a 383 in it. Don't know if I'm gonna sell that. F-150 is up next. The Corvair is up for sale. If not, I'll finish it. And then that, um, it's a 77 is up for sale. So, but here's the prize. Here's the one we're working on. So let me um, kind of get set up here and hopefully John will be here in a few minutes and show you guys what we're gonna do. We'll get to work, get to wrenching. All right, guys, we're back and John's up there working again. He's only taking like eight months off. <laughs> so as we said, showed you the photo earlier. Got a little bit of good news here. We are not gonna to have to take the rear roll pan off. Uh, the truck's sitting kind of down on an angle right now, but we're gonna leave it like that. It's all good. Gotta do a little bit more uh, work on that thing and uh, get it straight. Uh, push, the, push the bed over a little bit more for alignment. Pull this out, it's all good. But what we're doing now is we're back to me recording, John working. I don't know how that always works out. We solved all the world problems today already. So fenders on, working on alignment so we can get the hood on, so we can get this thing painted, so we can put an engine in it, and then we can go burn some rubber and then sell it. That's where we're at. Come back to you in a minute once we get everything uh, put together. Two shims? Yeah, I'm thinking just because the way that side's lined up and yeah. I'll take that out, but this shim is shorter. So. Maybe, huh? Because it was uh, LMC. We got this mm -hmm. one from LMC. Unless we're missing one somewhere. Do you have another one at all or no? Just the six that came out. Okay. So what we could do is they could throw a washer behind it. Be For fun. now, yeah. We could do that. Then. We're going to make it work. All right. John and I are dying. It's fucking hot out here. See, fenders are on. Doors are on. I say 99% alignment on the doors. Still got a little bit of gap to work on. Called it a day on the hood, cause why? It's fucking hot, that's why. A um, little bit of adjustment left on this. And then we'll take the hood back off and we're gonna fit the grill and the roll pan next weekend. But shit, John. Oh, starting to look like a truck. Yes, starting to look like a truck. And I think I showed you guys earlier, we looked at it. And uh, we don't have to take that off. So that looks fantastic. Just gotta do some sanding in that corner. Not bad, huh? Not fucking bad. Get in there, get in there. I think we're gonna make Labor Day paint? Oh, fuck yeah. I'm, I'm I with. think so, man. I think we'll make the Labor Day paint. Awesome, man. We'll call it a day. Appreciate you guys watching. Next week, everything, next weekend, everything will be aligned. And I think we're going to block it, final wet sand, or wet sand it. Make sure we're all good to go. And then we'll do a final primer inside the house. Yep. The bounce house we bought. <laughs> We've had that fucking thing since January. We ain't used it yet. All right, guys, you have a great weekend. If you like, and you're not subscribed, subscribe, like, and share. We greatly appreciate it few more weeks and we get to fire this bad boy up have a good one